Hey guys, Silent Sail here. Welcome back to another episode of Utame Cross Gacha videos. And this time round, we are the first event for the month of June. Also well known to be uh, June Brides. So yeah, June is probably the best month to get married uh, in. I guess mainly because of the weather. Uh, you know, at least for those who are planning to do an uh, outdoor wedding. But with the pandemic that's going around the world, um, it's definitely changed a lot of, you know, planning or wedding outcomes um, that the, the bride might actually want or even the groom as well, you know. But most of the time, the ladies take charge. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Uh, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't get rough with me, it's just my opinion, but you know, you can always um, debate with me in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, um, let's get down to the main topic of today, which is Freya's 7 star episode play. If you guys don't know what the lineup is for the month of June, please go check out my previous video where we talk about um, all the things that is for the month of June and um, yeah you can probably see the link to the video at the end credits of this particular episode as well so yeah all right so let's take a look at Freya's seven star episode plate and break it down to see how well it fares hmm why are we on the second page <laughs> anyways since we are here let's take a look at the details shown so of course the first thing to take note of is the three other divas that can use Freya's episode plate. Active skill, same thing as always, you know, all seven stars have this active skill. So if you have it fully evolved, you can activate the active skill twice. So for 15 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. So it's always the best, um, you know, high score achieving center position episode plate. Um, that is, if you can actually get a 7 star to it, um, it's wonderful glory. Anyways, um, life skill, which isn't so important for, oh, for every 40 combo, um, for 12 seconds, your score is boosted by 50% up, so it's pretty decent actually. Huh. Okay, so let's take a look at the last page um, and see what kind of special note is attached to this 7 star episode play, because it's now a trend, 7 stars come with special notes attachment. Um, it's just what kind of special note that's attached to it that makes it more, more worthwhile for your buck. Okay, what? This episode plate has no special note attachment? Oh my goodness. Okay, so with that said, hmm, let's take a look at the um, stats and see if this episode plate is actually worthwhile. Ooh, things are not looking good for Frey Frey. <laughs> so total score 4,354, well balanced stats all around, just like any other 7 star episode plate out there. And of course, um, as usual, if you have it in the center position, uh, active episode plate, you know, and you're playing it, um, on a Macross Delta song, you get that bonus boost. But sadly to say, this is just like an ordinary old school 7 star episode plate. I. Why? Why did Dana do this? Huh. Okay. So, I guess the last few episode plates um, that we've been getting that started off with the trend of special note attachments are still the main, main ones that you definitely want to attain. For Freya's, I think, unless you are a Freya fan, um, it's not necessary to attain. Uh, the only thing important for getting a, a 6 star or a 7 star episode plate is still definitely the costume. Because, sadly to say, all the costumes that are linked with the 7 star or 6 star forms of their episode plates are all locked behind these episode plates unless they are re-featured you know like in a reissuing gacha or a step up version then of course those gachas will introduce costume points um, episode plates exclusive to that gacha so that's technically one other way you can 
unlock seven star uh, costumes. So, hmm. So if you guys are not Freya fans, I will hold off on this gacha. But of course, you have to take note that the episode play itself does give bonus points to all the events within the month of June. So that's really a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have good friends with lots of money uh, and whalers, you know, and you are linked to their accounts where you, they share their wonderful episode plates with you, <laughs> you can make use of your kindness um, and, you know, use their episode plates to gain that extra 35% boost in bonus score. I think that's how much it is for a 7 star episode plate at least. Hmm. Oh well, so with that said, yeah, like I said, unless you guys are free free friends, uh, save your singing stones for the other waifus who are getting their wedding costumes this month. So I'm looking forward to my waifu. Yes, Ranka is one of them who is getting their wedding dresses. So I would like to save my singing stones for my waifu's wedding dress. Alright, so enough blabbering, let's do this. Let's start off as usual with the single free pool. Hopefully the luck is good within this time period of the day. There we go. No Valkyries. But what we really want to see is how rare that common episode play is. Okay. Okay, it's a 3 star. Ooh, I don't have a lot of this, so that's pretty rare. Hmm. Anyways, let's continue testing the waters. Um, as usual, we'll go with the free daily pool. Go. This is the afternoon session. Okay, do get a very quick load there. No Valkyries as well. Hmm. Okay, let's skip the blinging. Okay, this looks like a rare episode plate as well. Oh, it is! Because I just evolved it. Okay, so um, even though we don't see Valkyrie animations, but we are receiving some pretty rare common episode plates, so that's kind of a good thing. Anyways, we're going to start off with the step up gacha as usual. Um, I probably will still do the template discounted from the usual gacha, um, but I won't go further than that. Like I said, I want to save my singing stones for Ranka's um, upcoming gacha near the month end. So yeah. Okay, the load there is pretty normal. I wouldn't expect anything too fancy from the first pool. What? I didn't expect a golden orb. Oh no. Well, getting a rainbow box does not mean that it will evolve to a 6 star episode plate, so I don't know. All that Delta episode plates though. Alright, here comes the first red box. Okay, we get some Kumo Kumo love. Second red box. No evolution as well. What? Ranka? What? Here we go, the rainbow box. So no evolution. Ooh! Do I have this fully evolved? I think I did. Hmm. Oh, now I did. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm pretty happy uh, getting one of my waifu episode plates to evolve. That's good, I, but strange. You know, oh okay, there was a Frontier episode plate in the beginning as well, so I wasn't paying attention. Uh, anyways, <laughs> pretty, pretty good pool for a regular rate uh, discounted pool. Hmm. Alright, so let's go with the step 2. 
at least this one will have a guaranteed 4 star and above. Okay. Ooh, seems we're like going with the rarer Valkyrie animations. What? Two of them? Okay, so. Oh, I thought it was gonna evolve for a moment. <laughs> so, yeah, very strange. So, low Valkyrie counts, but we do get the good. Oh my god, it's gonna evolve. Whose will it be? Min Mei! Okay. Wait, do I have this? I don't think I do. Okay. If it's new, I'm I'm glad I got it, even though I'm not a big Min Mei fan, but you know at least it gives me a new costume for Min Mei. And uh well, a future choice of a seven star episode play to use in the future. If it evolves. Okay, so we got a 7 star, well, 6 star, technically, but still, not Freya's. Oh, it is new! Nice! Oh, wow. Even though we are not getting the featured um, Freya episode played, we are doing a lot of progression right here. Min Mei's 6 star costume, Mikumo's Episode play evolving, Ranka's episode play evolving as well. It's pretty good so far. <laughs> Dang! Alright, let's keep going. Alright, let's see. Now we have at least guaranteed a 5 star episode play and above. Okay, a very, very quick load. See the horrible Valkyrie animations. Oh, no golden orb this time. Ooh. Okay, there's still a rainbow box. Oh wait, that's the guaranteed, right? <laughs> I don't think it will evolve though. But who knows? Do I have this? Oh, it's a new plate as well! Dang! Oh! I get to unlock Freya's Halloween costume. Oh, it's actually a very good day! <laughs> wow! Lots of progression going on. So yeah, even though you don't get the featured gacha plate, you know, but with progression just like this, I think it's a win overall. Alright, here's the very last step up pool. This one, I don't know. It feels kind of a waste to pull it though. There we go. Now we're getting the better Valkyrie animations, but still. Okay. Alright, we've gotten rainbow boxes with every single pool of each step. That's just amazing. No evolution. Ooh. Okay, plus one luck on this plate. That's fantastic. Completely forgot to check. Ranka's plate, whether it has a special note attachment. Hmm. Alright, let's do that right now. Let's see. How good is this episode plate? I can't recall since its first debut. Oh, okay, it doesn't have a special note attachment, but it does have the wonderful skill of combo bonus. So that's not too bad. And its total score is actually pretty high. Hmm. Alright. Here we are, with the very last pool. I'm gonna go with the regular gacha and the discounted template pool, and that's it. 
So yeah, um, they did reissue the Basara and Milane episode plates if you guys have not gotten these yet. So that's one other thing you can probably decide to spend your singing stones on. After all, these episode plates are pretty high in total score. Uh, and of course, they do give very wonderful life skills. Um, so yeah, life skills the same. Yeah, these are actually very good um, across seven episode plates if you have not gotten them yet. I myself don't think I have them. Hmm. But I did remember unlocking both costumes for this <laughs> to make that video. Um, so yeah. Alright, so getting back to it, let's do this in the final pool of the day. Hmm. That was an extremely quick load. Okay, single Valkyrie, where we see a rainbow box. Hmm. Ooh, three rare boxes. Okay, so there is a chance. If we do get a 5 star out of this, it's pretty excellent already. Okay, this is a pretty rare plate as well. Oh, are they gonna throw us all 3 red boxes in one go? Okay, apparently not. Alright, so none of them evolve. Oh well, well we did pull a 6 star episode plate which gave me a brand new costume for Minmei. I'm good with that. Oh, uh, Like I said, it's a pretty rare episode plate. <laughs> so lots of progressions with episode plate collections right here on this episode. Uh, we managed to evolve quite a few um, 5 star plates to a 6 star form. And of course, that 6 star episode plate for Minmei. It's awesome in my book. So guys, don't feel bad. If you end up with such pools, I think this is this is a very big positive in terms of progression for your collection and of course for the versatility of your own high score achievements with new epi episode plates at your arsenal. Always think positive when it comes to playing gacha games. Um, even though if you are free to play, it's all the more you should look towards. Um, and of course, if you are caching and you didn't get your husband or waifu's um, featured plate or costumes, do not fret. Eventually, you will get them if you still continue playing, that is. <laughs> and, if, and even if you stop playing, I'm sure by the time you realize it, you know, you probably realize that it didn't really matter if you have it or not. Because... Um, I'm sure by the time you get back to playing or not, um, you realize you've already enjoyed the game for what it is, and you'll probably be glad that you managed to experience it as part of your life. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts as usual in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the episode play for Freya without a special note attachment? <laughs> And let me know what you guys pulled from your own gacha pools as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Cross video or something that I'll put up very soon. Um, and you, as usual, do all the wonderful stuff. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!